Hi folks, Steve Califf here for OS Video Update and I'm excited today to bring you the new OS GT55. This is OS's first gasoline engine and it is one heck of an engine. Right off the bat you'll notice there's a one thing in particular different than this and most of the other gasoline engines on the market today and that's this front mounted carburetor. Of course this is a front induction engine through a rotary valve on the crankshaft. This carburetor being mounted up front does a few things for us. First, it gets that carburetor out in a very clean and cool airflow. That's the air that's coming straight in through the cowling. Usually when the carbs are mounted to the rear, it's a very disturbed air back there. Getting it in a cooler airflow means we're going to produce more power. When we get in to the bottom of the carb here, you'll see that we have a nice nylon, very thick nylon insulator that's about a quarter of an inch thick. That insulator protects the carburetor from the heat that the crankcase has. So again, cooler, more consistent runs due to that insulator. Of course, we have this big Venturi that helps ram the air smoothly into the carburetor. It actually straightens the airflow as it goes in. Looking at the throttle arm and the choke lever here, you'll see that they are positioned in such a way that they're going to fit your installation real well. Another neat thing about the throttle arm is that you can remove this single screw, turn the engine around, remove this screw, and actually move the throttle arm over to this side. So very convenient for you there. Looking at the front of the engine, on the front of the carburetor you'll see that OS has installed this nipple here. What that allows you to do is if you're getting inconsistent runs due to disturbed airflow flow through your cowl, you can attach a line to this, vent the line over the side, and the engine's then going to be picking up very fresh air into the carburetor or into the diaphragm itself. If we look on this side of the engine, you'll notice if we look inside, you can see a very thin piston ring. And again, that's done for more power greatly reduce friction because of this very thin piston ring. OS also developed their own IG01 ignition module. This is a capacitive discharge ignition module. A uh, real nice module. One of the unique features of this module is that it will handle from 4.8 volts to 7.4 volts. That means you can run a 4 to 6 cell nickel metal or NICAD battery pack as your ignition pack or you can run a two cell LiPo or lithium iron battery pack. You don't have to run any regulators with this ignition system. The other thing is the high tension lead of course has got a nice braided shield over it. The cap fits on very securely but one thing I found unusual and that I like very much is that this comes right off you don't leave springs attached to the plug or anything else. So we've been talking to you about the huge performance this engine has. Let's head out to the flying field and see how it really performs. Well folks, we've got the GT55 mounted in a Pitts Python test bed here and we are ready to get it in the air. So uh, let's get it started up and have some fun.
Well, folks, there's the GT55. We've shown it to you on the bench, shown you how easy it is to start and the incredible power it has in the air. So for OS Video Update, I'm Steve Kaloff.